It's my fault this has happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there, find out what he knows, and get to the bottom of this. It's too late for Joseph, but maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not gonna wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. I'm sorry, E. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. I don't need to show her that now. Okay, that's all I need. Good luck out there. This must open some kind of storage unit. Not the right key. Nope, not the right key. Hey, you're back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Let's talk, sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions about that church, but I never thought it went this deep. Yeah. So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay. Can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Think nothing of it. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? All ears. They already arrested Isaac. There's nothing more to say. I probably shouldn't. He might ask where I got it from. Huh. As fun as it would be to rub my escape in his face, it would only get me into more trouble. That's all for now. Good. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? They already arrested Isaac. There's nothing more to say. I probably shouldn't. He might ask where I got it from. Well, gotta go. See ya. He's where he belongs. Hello again, my child. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will. I have all the time in the world. Did you have something to do with what happened to my grandfather? Alas, I did not. At the time, I wasn't enlightened. And neither was my father. But 
Grandpa showed the same symptoms as Eileen. Then he was claimed by God, without my guidance. Praise him. What do you really know about Lily Myers? Oh, the drowned girl is a conundrum. In life, part prophet, part mender. In death, ascended, united with the holy conduit. Why did you have Lily Myers painting stolen? Because Charles Wade isn't a man keen on sharing. Ugh, fine. Let me put it this way. Why did you try to get your hands on the paintings? Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it was my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. A necessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. Who is the man dressed in red? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. Tell me what you did to my friend, Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. She is part of his world now. You're not talking about a Christian God. Of course not. I'm talking about the old God, slumbering in the darkness beyond. What are you saying? You offered Eileen's soul to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the stairs of judgment. Wait, so you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. I don't need to show that to him. What do you see in this photo? The sign of God. The conduit. Conduit of what? Oh, you'll know soon enough. I could, but I'd rather not tip him off before I know what this key opens. I don't need to show that to him. I don't need to show that to him. You know something about this flower, don't you? Oh, yes. A link to the divine. They help by preparing the body for unity with God. So, you've drugged people with it? Such a crude choice of words. It has been one component of my sacred work, yes. I'm done here. Good. Now go repent, sinner. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Well, gotta go. See ya. This must open some kind of storage unit. A small key with a tag attached labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there. Storage A5. This is it.
Where is it? Was he trying to uncover something in these paintings? I guess he felt compelled to tell the world how hard he was looking for something. Lunatic. I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. He must not have wanted anyone to learn the secrets of these paintings. A bottle of paint thinner. This might come in handy. He must not have wanted anyone to learn the secrets of these paintings. Storage A6. Storage A7. Doesn't fit. Must be for a different unit. Aha! Just some old newspapers in those. Nothing useful. found a tape in there there's also something else a custody appeal form for me July 15th 1981 I don't believe it he he tried to get me back from my mom right to the very end yourself together, Kathy. Nothing useful. This should be able to do some damage. A bottle of paint thinner. A warning label that says it's flammable. Gotta be careful. Standard microtape labeled Operation Log Number 4. It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source by severing the link. Perhaps I can save them, Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up.
Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. It's an early painting by Lily Myers. Sorry, Sue. A hidden picture. Oh my God, that's Nathan. He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this, or... or saw it. Nathan is drowning Lily in the lake. Nathan is drowning Lily in the lake. Nathan? Yes? I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth, because you are honest. You're honest, aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. See? <sighs> Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no, they're nice. Look. Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god, struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. Twas a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. <coughs> there, there, you're being dramatic. No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Jesus. Nathan? How long was I out? <laughs> 